The home opener tonight for the Lady Vols. Tennessee started on the road picking up that close call win up at ETSU on Tuesday. Lady Vols head coach Kelly Harper making her official home debut tonight and her son Jackson warming up with the Lady Vols before the game. Actually wearing his mom's old number from her Tennessee days and this kid took it seriously. He was not joking around. He knows all the warm-ups. Harper giving freshman Jordan Horston and Tamari Key the start and each taking advantage tonight. Horston from Ohio, Key from North Carolina, and each might have had a few jitters at ETSU, not showing any tonight. The three from Horston followed up with a fast break bucket. Key held down the fort in the paint, too. We're going to see her down low. It's a dish from Zay Green, puts Key on the board. Meanwhile, Horston, man, this girl is good. Just back to hanging out in downtown tonight. A little dish over to her, unguarded, and she takes advantage there. Lady Vols up by four. Game high 17 for Horston. She also had three assists, a couple of them to Key down low. Horston and Key scored the first 14 points for the Lady Vols, but the Sugar Bears of Central Arkansas, they weren't backing down. Hannah Lange cuts Tennessee's lead to six. Lange sinks another bucket soon after, and UCA leads by one. Harper frustrated with her team's effort on defense. She said after the game, she let him have it at halftime. We'll hear from that in a second. But whatever she di said did the trick. After UCA scored 25 points in the first half, the Lady Vols held them to 11 in the second. Tennessee goes on to win big, 63-36. We got after it at halftime. We, we really had a discussion, not a discussion. We, we had, I told them that they weren't, um, weren't giving us what we needed. I felt like Central Arkansas was a little too comfortable in the first in, in the first half and we we changed that we changed the tone with our, our defensive pressure there in the second half everything is just so surreal right now like i'm just so blessed to be here i'm just happy to be here with you know these group of girls and i'm just i just gotta take everything in because you know it's more than basketball and um i just appreciate everything like uh, this whole program Harper getting settled back in on Rocky Top. And just because she played at Tennessee doesn't mean she owns a lot of Tennessee Orange. She made that clear after the game. Finding Tennessee Orange in coaching attire is really difficult. <laughs> this was as close as I could get to Orange. And I walked in a shop, and I haven't had any time to go shopping. Let's say that as well. But I was out and about. I walked in a shop. And something caught my eye, I walked over there, it's kind of orange color. I walk in and look at a piece and look at another piece and the lady said, you must really love orange. Yes, yes I do. Um, I proceeded to try on every piece of orange clothing that was in that store. Now, the lighting in here may think, you might think it's red, but according to the lady I bought it from, she, she convinced me that it was orange, so. Um, Still working to build that part of my wardrobe. <laughs> and she'll have plenty of time to do that. Harper and the Lady Vols are going to visit 16th-ranked Notre Dame on Monday night.